Good morning. It is the 21st of April 2021, and this is another one of those Bitcoin morning updates. So, today, um, we're still sideways. Uh, as seems to be common when I make these, is we are currently on a red day. Yesterday when I made this, we were making the lows for the day. The day before, we were making the lows for the day. And um, yeah, common theme. Uh, once this gets posted, it's just up from here, we hope. But uh, yeah, that is that remains to be seen. Um, starting things a little differently today. So as you can see here on the left-hand side of the screen is our daily update sheet. So this will be posted alongside the video as usual, and it has all the important levels that we are looking at on the chart. <clears throat> um, one thing I wanted to mention today is that we do have our potential 80% set up in play. So when you take our daily open, if we open outside of value area high or <laughs> of outside of value area, in this case, outside of the value area high, then we do have this setup which is in play, which gives us a target of 54,392. Now this is on the one tick settings. Um, I am currently collecting data for one tick. I always used to use two tick, um, but as we have this <coughs> setup today, then I'm gonna see if it works. We have hit our point of control, I believe the previous day point of control so that is there and that would be a take profit on this setup um and we'll see if we can come all the way through to the lows here so 54392 is the target uh alongside all of that we do have a nice local fibonacci around that level and we have our so we do have key moving averages and our VWAPs in the region that we are right now. So this is our 10 week EMA and our 55 day EMA are basically right where prices at the moment. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we will monitor that throughout the day. Okay, so if anyone is watching this and is not already on the Discord, then let me pull this up on the screen and here is our discord group the link to this is in the description below we're a nice friendly community and um yeah it would be great for you to join us uh we've had we've had a few people joining today so welcome to dman uh he has joined us this morning so however you found us then welcome uh, and welcome to everyone that joined yesterday as well. So yeah, come and check us out. Uh, it'll be great to see you there. And as you see, uh, each and every day we get this trading sheet, we get a video, and we get live streams as well from myself and from other members of the community. <clears throat> cool. That sorts that. Uh, 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 so let's get into the price. Um, we can straight away, let's just start with this. We can bring up our previous day value area. Uh, we can go into the lower time frames, and here we go. So this is our daily open. This is one tick 68% um, for anyone who is wondering. I'll show you this on EXO in a minute. So here's our daily open. Here is our previous day value area high. So once we've got acceptance into there, you have an 80% chance of reaching the value area low. Um, or at least the previous day point of control, really. So we've hit that. That would be a take profit for anyone who was taking this trade. You would have been taking it around here. Um, yeah, and we also have these lows to be aware of. So this looks good so far. Um, nice little trade to start the day. So what am I looking for right now um, is I would say if we do this, yep, as expected, we've just come into our 618. That's our golden pocket area here. So we've just hit that. 
<clears throat> we have these lows here, so these lows could be taken. And we could get a bounce. Um, and the previous day value area low looks like it might line up quite nicely with our 786 as well, just below it. So these are areas of support immediately if this does continue downwards. Looks like we've just got a nice little local channel going on here. So you could pull a channel like this. You got, let's take it from around here. And yeah, you got something like this going on. So if you can break this downtrend, then I would be looking back up to the, well, I, yeah, I guess the daily open again. Um, we can see what the VWAP is doing. So we're below that. So again, a break of this downtrend would mean a break back above the VWAP, and then we could start looking at higher prices. Right now, just locally, we're, we're downtrending, nothing major yet. Um, and by the look of the volume, it's very unlikely that we're gonna see a move down here while I'm making this video. So, yeah, you could have traded this. We could have scalped along here. Um, and if you were short, then this would have been a very nice take profit area. Okay. So on to slightly higher time frames. Um, it remains like much the same as I've been saying like throughout the week is that this monthly open I see as quite a major level. So um, 58822. I do think that we will get a test up here before further downside. So that is where my bias is at the moment. I don't think these lows will get taken before <coughs> we look for these highs. Uh, we could always come down, take these local lows and start to move up. Uh, you've got to be open for the possibilities. Of course, we could do this <laughs> and then move up like, or we could just drop down. You, you never know. Uh, that's why you've got to trade it level by level. But my bias is on the upside of this consolidation. Um, and then I do think we could test further down after that, depending on the reaction that we get once we, if we come up here. So yeah, let's remove this. These are the important levels for me at the moment. So I want to keep seeing closes, daily closes above this line. Uh, if we get another close below here, then I think that will get continuation again lower. But we're a long way off of that yet. And by the time we get to our daily close, this consolidation might have resolved one way or another. Okay, so what it looks like we're doing at the moment, just nice and simple. You can draw a line there. Uh, you can draw a line here. You can just make it rough if there or thereabouts and we are just chopping around here so we could move down we could come back up to the highs we could chop around this daily we could break up or we could break down which does give us this bull flag <coughs> uh bull flag bear flag <laughs> so if this were to turn into a bear flag you have your boat, your pole. We could break down, say from here. And that does give us targets back down to the lows of the range. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think that really covers everything I want to say. Like if I can keep this at 10 minutes today, then that's that's really good. Um, yeah, so you, you know, we know the support 54, we know the immediate resistance is coming in around like 56,500. Uh, if we can claim it and stay above, um, at this stage, then that looks good. If we do drop below 54k again, then I'd be looking back down towards these lows here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We're just consolidating for now. We know the major resistance is at our monthly open. We have a weekly level here. We have a high volume load of the range up here. Um, yeah, so same same stuff as we were looking at yesterday. 
if you want more detail on those levels then just have a look at yesterday's video so let's have a quick look on ethereum so ethereum had a really nice move i am targeting this um 0.0435 bitcoin level um so this is this monthly level up here on Ethereum. We can probably, yeah, I'd, I'd guess if we pull like a fib and get our expansions off of this, then yeah, not yet into the 1.618. Um, if you pull it from where the range was, then yeah, we're just hanging around this area. On the US dollar chart, we are in this golden pocket area so we did get a, reje a rejection from that and it does seem to be trying to find support on these previous highs so i'd say this obviously is uh just a very small range that it was in similar to bitcoin ethereum resolved to the upside after that and now it's just seeing if it can hold these and then maybe we can look for higher prices again. A lot of this is dependent on what Bitcoin does. Um, if Ethereum does get sucked back into this range, then you would look down towards the daily here as the next support. So yeah, if um, if Bitcoin starts moving down below that 54K, I would expect to move down with Ethereum as well. Uh, Litecoin had its really nice support down here on the Bitcoin chart. Um, seems to have a bit of a, again, everything's consolidating. Uh, <clears throat> you've got this downtrend just to break through before you can look at higher prices. It's very similar to the, this is very similar to the Bitcoin chart, uh, Bitcoin pair chart. However, it does look, Litecoin looks pretty good here um just from the way it's forming um and this structure that's forming here so we do have a consolidation and this does look like it may be starting to curl up and we can again look for higher prices possibly on litecoin um same same thing really so if bitcoin can go up then litecoin and ethereum will too i think do we have any alts moving today? Not really. There's, yeah, everything is in this consolidation stage today. Doge, um, I'm in a short on Doge. This does look like it could start to fall back down. Chili's again, this was like super high. So it's one of those where it's just still volatile. Cody had a really nice move yesterday. Uh, if it can hold this weekly level, then that looks good for Cody. Um, that was really nice trade. Uh, yeah, and then on the downside, KSM. KSM is really struggling, really struggling right now. Like I thought, I thought after this really big wick below that we could get a nice move back up here, but it, yeah, it's not happening yet for KSM. Um, it's trying. I was trying to break back through here, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, that'll that'll do for today. Um, I'll be around as always in the chat. And yeah, if you're watching this video and not already part of the Discord, then please do come over and join us. Once again, the link is in the description below. Um, do all the usual things, like the video, subscribe, press the alert and I will see you on the next video tomorrow morning and if I do decide to do any kind of streams or anything this afternoon cool all right thanks a lot guys see you later bye